Hi, this is Ed at the Drum Exchange in Seattle, Washington. I wanted to give you a very quick tour of some of the vintage items we have at our store. We have drum sets, snare drums, cymbals, hardware, and just miscellaneous items of all kinds. So let's take a quick look and uh, keep in mind some of these things may not be here by the time you watch this video, but it does give you an idea of what comes through the store. Let's take a look. This is a 1960s vintage Ludwig uh, club date drum set. Uh, it's a technically it's a four piece. The floor tom is actually a converted marching snare drum with 12 lugs. You could pull six of those out and you'd still have a great floor tom. It's 15 inches. So uh, really what you have are three matching shells and one that's been added. Anyway, uh, we're keeping things fairly well priced in here. You can probably see some of the prices on there. I'm not going to talk about pricing here because those things can change. But that's a, a good example of an excellent vintage set. Uh, pretty collectible, smaller 20-inch uh, bass drum, uh, nickel-plated uh, snare drum fixtures, things like that. Above it, we have a Slingerland four-piece set. Uh, no snare on this one, so... Uh, it would be a five piece if you added a snare. This one has a 22 inch bass drum. The toms are concert toms. Uh, they've been cut. Uh, bearing edges have been started on them so they're, they're, they don't have bottom heads. That's one reason this is a very inexpensive set, but it is nice maple shells. It's also from the 60s or 70s. This is a really a magnificent drum set by Camco. I had a Camco set as a kid. It's a five piece with a matching snare. It's a lacquer piano black finish. Uh, it's actually kind of larger sizes, 13, 14, 18, 22 with a 14 inch snare. This is from Los Angeles era, 1970s, the end of Campo's run. It does have the mounting hardware to it. This is really as rare as it gets out there. Uh, very, very good condition. Uh, any type of Campo, of course, is sought after. So if you really want to own some true history here, this would be the one you'd want to get uh, if you're playing really rock, jazz, big band, almost anything. Beautiful maple shells. One of the more unusual sets in the store is this Fibes Acrylic Crystallite uh, shell pack. There's no snare with it, but uh, it does have two toms floor and a bass drum. Standard 12, 13, 16, 22. Uh, there's really not a lot of this particular frost finish available. Uh, we've only found one other out there that was owned by uh, Trey Cool of Green Day. Uh, so this is a remarkably rare drum set. It does have the mounting hardware for it. And if you really want to have kind of a, a true piece of history, this is a, a one of those. Next to it is a, a little bass drum here. It's a 20 inch bass drum. It's an excellent shell, uh, maple shell by quarter, which actually I believe picked up fives and then started making uh, wood drum sets. It actually has Ludwig hardware on it. I think somebody put that on there, which is probably an improvement. Snare drums are a little more volatile around here. Uh, some are older than others. Uh, there's a DW shell right there. That's very, very nice maple shell drum set. This one right here is really unusual. This is called a two to one. It's made by Slingerland. It was only made for one year in the 70s. It actually has 12 lugs on top and six on the bottom. And you ask, why would they do that? Well, of course, the literature says because you don't play the bottom. Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, it's a beautiful six and a half uh, by 14 inch snare drum with uh, cast hoops. And then uh, this is a really old duplex, uh, I think it's duplex or uh, a snare drum with a calf head on it. So there's some, there's some ancient things in here. Down here, we have a leady marching drum right here that's pretty nice. And then on the bottom shelf, I have uh, some uh, well, the, we've had a few of these pop through. These are cheaper snares. They're excellent to add to a drum set if you have a, a sparkle set and you're looking for something to add. That's ideal. And then this one is uh, a Ludwig and Ludwig 1940s. This is a really neat snare, a nice piece of mahogany. If we look on the inside, it's just a beautiful shell. Um, just an excellent deep snare. Be good for a jazz player or possibly an orchestral musician. And then over here we have from the war uh, a Defender, Gretsch Defender. This has wood lugs on it because they couldn't use more than 10% of the materials during wartime, World War II. And then on the bottom is a Tacton calf head. This is actually a brass snare drum. I haven't been able to 
put on a bottom head on it, so it's a cool timbale. And then over here we have a, I believe it's Rogers Princeton, which is a student snare, and it's from 1938 Rogers first year. A snare that I just put in here is this Leedy shell. This is a, a Broadway or a concert snare from their era. It's actually uh, in pretty good shape. It does have some cracks on the shell, things like that on the external laminate, but it's an excellent player's drum. Leedy's can be incredibly expensive uh, if you buy them, uh, if they're in excellent condition, literally $1,000. This one is much less than that because it does, uh, it's not in perfect shape. And then over here we have a Slingerland Green Jean Krupa uh, with a, the uh, Slingerland uh, hoops on the top. Um, excellent drum if you want something from history, chrome over brass. Another chrome over brass snare is the Rogers Dynasonic. I actually have three of them in stock at the moment. The one in the middle actually has the bridge on it underneath, which is pretty rare, and it has a super sensitive mechanism as well. So excellent snare drums that come through the store if you really want something unusual. As far as cymbals in the store, we do have uh, older Zildjians that pop through from the 60s, 70s, sometimes earlier. Uh, they can be smaller crash cymbals, or they can be ride cymbals as well. Uh, we've, we've had K's in here on rare occasion, uh, but there's been, there's also been some nice uh, larger symbols as well. You can see our symbol collection, we have quite a few. We also carry Impressions, which is a Turkish symbol, not vintage, but beautiful uh, symbols as well. An example of a cool vintage symbol is, uh, this is a true K from Constantinople pre Istanbul 1920s, if you look on the imprint. This is really a collectible uh, as a symbol. I don't know if it's going to do a whole lot, but if you want a piece of history, that's it. As far as hardware is concerned, we do have older pedals, Tama, Slingerland, Ludwig, Sonar, Rogers that pop through, especially for people that are interested in adding them to uh, their older sets. And then there's occasionally cymbal stands from different eras that pop through uh, at different times. Well, whether you're looking for a collectible vintage item or you're just a player and you want to have a vintage sound, we usually have something for everybody here. So please come on in and visit us. We are a, really a, a real store where you can actually look and listen and hear things. And please support your local businesses, not only music businesses, but everybody. They're dependent on you. And uh, if everybody shops online, there's just simply not going to be places you can go and visit anymore. So trust me, support local business. We'll see you soon. Thanks.